good day Ramirez. Welcome welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna do something a little bit different from reactions because today is my 100th video okay first of all I really really wanted to thank everyone that has made this possible and when I started this channel I never really thought I'd reach 100 videos I thought I would stop much earlier because I never really thought anyone was gonna watch yet here I am uh, so f as of today I have 378 subscribers which might be a really small amount for a lot of you but for me this is a lot because my expectation and when I started this channel I thought I was gonna get uh, 30 a maximum of 30 subscribers yet here we are <laughs> anyways yeah i wanted to thank everyone that has been watching my videos liking sharing sub and subscribing especially subscribing and the constant comments and support i'm really really thankful to everyone yeah thanks to everyone that helped me reach this milestone and honestly i really really enjoyed fall 2021 this uh, that was my very first uh, season that I reacted to so I guess season fall 2021 will always be really special to me but it's time to move on so yeah okay so winter 2022 is not as jam-packed as uh, winter 2021 but there are still some shows that I plan to watch and that I'm ex ex excited for so yeah i'm gonna go through all the animes that i want to watch and read the synopsis so you know what you can expect on this channel but again if you if you want me to react to other animes just comment down below and i will see what i can do first of all i will continue watching um demon slayer and platinum man demon slayer is like at the middle of the season so if i'm missing like five episodes or six so yeah i'm gonna continue that for sure don't be scared that i'm gonna drop it platinum and two i'm gonna continue that one also i am gonna watch uh shingeki no kyojin attack on titan part no attack on titan season four part two aka the final part and Lately, I've been binge watching uh, Attack on Titan to catch up on it before the last part drops. I really hope I can finish it before uh, the 16th episode comes out. But yeah, you can expect me to react to that one. So yeah, those are the animes that I'm gonna continue watching. Now moving on to the animes that are starting this season and that are not continuations or second parts or whatever of other of other seasons i'm gonna start with sasaki to miyano sasaki to miyano is a bl anime and honestly this is one of the animes that i've been waiting for a lot because sasaki to miyano is like one of the very first bl mangas that i've read and it was so so sweet and i love the characters there so i'm really really excited for that one and the anime hasn't started yet but we also got the announcement that it's gonna have an ova this july so summer 2022 so yeah i'm pretty excited the studio is studio dean which is a really great studio and the animation in the trailer looked fantastic it looked beautiful it was very aesthetically pleasing. So yeah, let's read the synopsis. Miano spends his days peacefully reading boys' love comics and worrying about how girly his face is, until a chance encounter leads to a scuffle with his senior Sasaki. Intrigued by his busy junior Miano, delinquent Sasaki uses every opportunity he can to get closer. So this is like bad boy meets good boy, and they fall in love. The, th the thing is, how are they going to fall in love? <laughs> this I can just predict that this is going to be a really sweet and chill anime. 
and this comes out on Sunday, the same day as uh, Attack on Titan and Demon Slayer. And honestly, after those two animes, watching this one would be such a wonderful break. And I'm really gonna watch this one. It comes out January 10. Okay. Yeah, the voice actors are also familiar because they've done all of these. Good to see on the screen. The manga itself wasn't really long, so I guess they will be able to adapt the whole thing in this anime. So I am very much excited for this one, Sasaki to Miyano, woohoo! Also, we don't get a lot of BL animes, and the ones that do are not always mainstream, except for like Yuri and Ice. So even Yuri and Ice, they announced a movie a bajillion of years ago and yet we still don't have anything. But then again, MAPPA is like full of projects so I don't know when they will ever let the movie out. Moving on on my list, we have my dress up darling. Okay, so this one is from Cloverworks. What? Really? Okay, so Cloverworks is amazing when it comes to animation and when i think about cloverworks i think about wonderfully aesthetic animes and the characters designs are always spectacularly aesthetic i expect this one to be really aesthetically pleasing to the eyes tags are romance school seinen slice of life seinen huh okay Let's read the synopsis. Traumatized by a childhood incident with a friend who took exception to his love of traditional dolls, dolls artisan hopeful Wakana Gojo passes his days as a loner, finding solace in the home egg room at his high school. To Wakana, people like beautiful Marin Kitagawa, a trendy girl who is always surrounded by a throng of friends, is practically an alien from another world. But when cheerful Marin, never one to be shy, spots Wakana sewing away one day after school, she barges in with the aim of roping her quiet classmate into a secret hobby, cosplay. Will Wakana wounded heart be able to handle the invasion from this sexy alien? Ho ho! Okay, so basically, she is a cosplayer and... I guess she will try to convince him to make her costumes or work together with him which is actually pretty interesting because I don't think we had a lot of cosplay animes centered about cosplay making we had animes talking about cosplay and like characters cosplaying but I don't think we ever had a lot of animes talking on the making part of cosplay so I think this is gonna be interesting and romance so I guess the two are gonna fall in love too don't know how but that's the interesting part so yeah I'm gonna watch this one too so Attack on Titan, Kimitsu no Yaiwa, Sasaki to Miyano and My Dress Up Doll are the ones that I knew oh, okay and Platinum End of course are the ones that I knew I wanted to watch and now I'm gonna see other shows that I might watch this season Good. so first off we have we have Love of Kill Koroshi Ai and this is an action Jose and romance Jose so is aimed not for teenage girls but for early 20s girls and up and this is by platinum vision studio i don't think i ever heard about platinum vision but i did hear, hear about the cast wow the cast is amazing they have let's read the synopsis the silent and stoic chateau dang what is a bounty hunter her target son Liang a notorious killer known for killing 18 high-class officials in a single night. 
To this day, his murderers remain swift, efficient, and bloody. However, after Son Ryanga overpowers Chateau in the in their first encounter, he reveals his own intentions. He too is after her, aiming for her heart. What? So this is a romance? So, okay, let me finish reading. Son Ryanga's attempts to catch her eye are quite unique, to say the least. He offers gifts to her in the form of current target, tied up and battered, and will do anything to spend more time together. Reluctantly, Chateau goes along with this act, and so begins the cat and mouse game of love between two killers. Okay, so this is a killer x killer, and from the names, I guess Chateau, the girl, is probably French. Chateau means castle, I think. I'm pretty sure it means castle. And Son Ryang Ha, that sounds very Korean to me. So I guess he is a Co South Korean, most probably, a killer working in the same field. And this actually sounds pretty, a pretty mature anime. So I'm actually interested. I think I'm gonna watch this one too. Then I add it to my list. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, next. Next we have an anime that I wasn't expecting to watch and I didn't even know the existence of it until someone uh, recommended it recommended it to me. It is the genius princess guide to raising a nation out of debt. I uh, was recommended to it because it is a comedy and fantasy and it's not an isekai for once <laughs> so the prince is actually a prince and not someone that got isekai there and yeah let's read the synopsis this one is from Yokohama Animation Lab Studio and the source is a light novel oh I thought it was gonna be adapted adapted from a manga but it's actually a light novel which makes it even more interesting the voice actor for the for the main character is Saito Soma again so it's the same voice actor for Miyano man this man is booked this wi this winter let's read the synopsis it ain't easy being a genius <laughs> Okay, Prince Wayne is ready to commit treason, and who can blame him? Faced with the impossible task of ruling his pathetic little kingdom, this poor guy just can't catch a break. But with his brilliant idea of auctioning off his country, this lazy prince should be able to retire once and for all. Or oh, that was the plan, until his treasonous schemes leads to a disastrous, to disastrous conquests. <laughs> namely accidental victories and the favor of his people this prince is so lazy that he is actually um willing to sell his whole country just so that he can blaze around <laughs> and the funny thing is that they always say lazy people will find the quickest and smartest way to finish a task immediately and I think this is gonna be the exact representation of that saying <laughs> and since it, this is a comedy I expect a lot of funny moments and yeah I'm pretty sure I'm gonna watch it actually and lastly the any another anime that I've heard a lot about is Orient this one is the one that I don't know if I really actually want to watch. So please tell me down, comment down below if you want me to react to this one. The studio is ACGT Studio. Never, I've never really heard of it. So if you know any information, please tell me down below. And the cast... Wow, okay, wait. Saito Soma is here again. This man is booked for winter 2022. Okay. This he is like everywhere. Okay, fine. This cast
cast list is actually pretty packed with great voice acting voice actors so this one is tagged action fantasy and shonen oh another shonen can handle another shonen okay let's read the synopsis five years ago musashi made a promise with his friend kojiro kanemaki that once they grew up they would become samurai form a league and go on a demon slaying quests but since then things have changed with demons now playing praised and worshipped by society, the samurai are shunned and disgraced. Afraid of rebuilding his dream and becoming a samurai, Musashi blends into the town's dogma by becoming a miner while secretly polishing his swordmanship. Meanwhile, despite being a direct descendant of a samurai, Kojiro gives up on his promise to his old friend. However, after saving Musashi from a near-death experience, his perspective shifts. Although still conflicted, Gojiro embarks on a journey with Musashi in the hopes of figuring out his true feelings. Fighting against all odds, the duo dives headfirst into the unknown world of beast slaying, not knowing what life has in store for them. Astrid Iron Horses, the 15-year-old heroes, plan to restore the tarnished reputation of the samurai and purge the world of demons. This concept kind of reminds me of demon slayer because of the demons and the slaying factor with swords but i do hope that this is gonna have a nice spin on it and it actually already started airing so i guess i'm gonna watch the first episode and see if i like it and if I do, I will continue reacting to it. And if I don't, I will probably not react on it on camera, but maybe continue watching it on my own. And yeah, comment down below though if you want to see the reactions or not. Next is Ranking of Kings. Okay, so this one actually came out last season, fall 2021, but it's still continuing in winter 2022 and i did get a comment asking if i if i could cover it and i don't really know what it talks about so i'm gonna read the synopsis now ranking of kings osama ranking by wit studio okay i wasn't expecting it to be wit studio hinata minami is Bodhi, and i guess that's the protagonist and Ayumu Murase? Really? I wasn't expecting Murase to be here. Oh, Yuki Kaji is here too. Okay. There are a lot of uh, known seiyus in here as well. I know that this one is, has 23 episodes and, and they are most probably at the middle of the story. Let's read the synopsis. The people of the kingdom look down on the young prince Bodhi, who can neither hear nor speak. They call him the useless prince while jeering at his supposed foolishness. However, while Bodhi may not be physically strong, he is certainly not weak of heart. When a chance encounter with a shadow creature should have left him traumatized, it instead makes him believe that he has found a friend amidst those who only choose to notice his shortcomings. He starts meeting with Kaji, the shadow, regularly to the point where even the otherwise abrasive creature begins to warm up to him. Kaji and Boji's unlikely friendship lays the building foundation of the prince's journey, one where he intends to conquer his fears and insecurities. Despite the constant ridicule he faces, Boji resolves to fulfill his desire of becoming the best king he can. This sounds very much like a coming of age anime it sounds pretty um pretty wholesome and like we're gonna this anime shows the progression of him going from a useless prince to maybe a better and stronger prince don't know how and he says that he cannot hear nor speak so i wonder if if he's gonna learn how to communicate or uh, in a way during the anime 
you cannot hear or speak you could use sign language you could or i don't know i'm actually interested in knowing how he communicates with others so maybe others like or should just understand him or his actions uh, leads others to understand what he wants to say I'm actually quite interested in this one but I do have a jump back schedule so maybe this one is gonna be one of those animes that I watch without a fixed schedule so yeah hmm. I'm gonna see comment down below if you want me to react to this one basically this are the animes that I am gonna cover for real this winter 2022 and I'm gonna judge them by the first episode and if I like them I'm gonna continue reacting to them and if not I'm gonna drop them but do comment down below if you want to continue if you want me to continue watching them I'm gonna try my best to post the videos the day or the day after they come out but i cannot promise anything but yeah kimitsu no yaiba and attack on tyran i will try my best to make them come out to post them as soon as possible and then the others will follow <laughs> so comment down below your thoughts on this list of winter 2022 and if you want me to try to react to other animes and also, if you want me to react to opening songs, just tell me. My plan for this channel this year was not only to react to animes, but also to like do some other things, like summaries of animes that I've watched, or even bullet journaling. I'm actually into bullet journaling, and I might do uh, some spreads on camera about the animes that i've watched and it won't be a regular thing because bullet journaling takes time so they might just be sprinkled around sprinkled around whenever i can and also i was wondering if i could like read mangas on camera so you could see my immediate reactions to it was thinking of doing Jujutsu Kaisen and Bungo Stray Dogs because those are the mangas that I am actually uh, following weekly and monthly but I am very interested in starting a new manga so if you have any comments just comment down below <laughs> this, uh, this year is starting not with a bang as last year but it has potential to have great shows so I'm very much excited to watch whatever they're gonna serve us this year and yeah <laughs> comment down below whatever you want whatever animes you want me to react to opening and ending songs I will I want, really I really really want to react to opening songs but the thing is YouTube is really strict with music especially japan and sony they are really strict with music so if i ever post openings i might have to cut the music part so that's something that i am um, kind of worry but yeah i will try my best to react to openings as well and especially to the animes that i'm gonna start this season comment down below what you think of all the animes that I'm gonna watch if you have any opinions any suggestions of what I should watch too and yeah like if you can share if you can and subscribe help me reach 400 I'm actually pretty close to 400 my goal this year is 1000 really hope I can reach that but for now it's 400 and like if you can share if you can and subscribe and I'll see you the next time. Bye!